Hey everyone, Ashley here with Authors Unknown. I am this close to always saying scraps, buttons, and bows. It took, you know, forever to get that out of my head. Formerly known as scraps, buttons, and bows. Um, I wanted to, I've been inspired. And we all know what happens when we get inspired. Your wallet takes a nosedive and you go crazy for days. But no, I have all this stuff because I do. Um, I was inspired months ago actually for this and I have not been able to get around to it and seeing as how I already have all the embellishments and stuff for it I really wanted to do it so that's what we're going to do you guys don't know what that is yet because I haven't told you but I was um, inspired by she's on YouTube her name is oh gosh how does it what is her name I don't even know if I'm like, subscribed to her hold on let me think for a second Um, she's on YouTube and her name is Maggie Pie Soul. There we go. I think Maggie Soul Pie. No, Maggie Pie Soul. Anyways, so she creates really cute stuff on YouTube. I've only watched a couple of her videos. I've seen more of her stuff on Pinterest actually. And I was going through pinning things last night and I saw one of her bands come up and I was like, oh gosh, I really want to make one of those. So that's what we're doing. So let me go to my board so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. It's going to be a hot second. My phone doesn't really, I mean, it works for phone calls, but okay. So I have no signal out here whatsoever. It's going to take a hot second for it to load. Which is weird because I have the same Wi Fi that's running my broadcast right now. I never get it on my phone. <laughs> so we'll see if it loads. I don't know if it'll load. Oh, here we go. So she does, yeah, it's, it, oh, it's, yeah, Meg, Meg Pie Soul. Meg Pie Soul. Not Maggie Pie Soul. It's Meg Pie Soul. Um, so she does. See if it'll focus on my phone. Oh, there we go. These are her planner bands. They're just a decorative piece. It's Mag M A G Pi Soul. Look. So anyways, months ago, I saw these plan planner bands, and I was like, we're doing that. And now I want to do it. <laughs> I have time to sit out here and do it. My arts, I'm in my art studio. It is cleaned and refreshed, and everything is put in its spot. All of the last of the boxes are emptied. I spent Sunday out here um, kind of jamming out, and I spent the entire day. Let's clarify this. The entire day out here taking care of this craft room, which by the way is sinking into the ground. <laughs> in the spring, I'm going to have to have the company come back out and lift it back up and we're going to have to put like really heavy gravel or something underneath all of this stuff. <sighs> this place, because it's, it's, okay, so I'm at one, behind me is a wall-ish and then in front of me to the right, so to the left is the, 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 uh, sliding doors, double pane slide, or the big glass doors, and to this side is a big six foot window. Well, that wall, but on the right hand corner, is the part that's kind of like sinking towards a different direction. It's the ground is really soft. We've had a ton, a ton of snow, and so I'm gonna have them come back out this spring and lift up the house again so we can just re line it I guess hopefully they can do that I don't know what else I'm gonna do it's not dangerous and I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna tip over but I mean we could <laughs> so anyways I digress what I'm gonna do is create my own band I have my chic sparrow here and I can um, pull this out and then just use the band 
or I can do it for my actual Erin Condren, which would be adorable as well. Um, so there's that. So I have two things that I want to make planner bands for, and if they go well, I could probably put a few of them in the shop. I have got so much stuff to make these. So um, months and months ago, I bought the bands. I've had these for months. There's a different array of bands. I, this one is an Erin Condren band. I could use this. Oops, I'm not even. So I could use this. Or this one is a hair tie. I just got them in like a three or four pack, I think, from Walmart. They're already elastic. I mean, you could go to the store and buy some elastic and sew them yourself, but I'm not good at sewing, and why not just, it was a couple bucks, just buy it. Okay. So I'm going to try different options. I had this, and I bought this for me, and I don't like the way it looks on my head or in my hair. So there's um, this as well. I could use this just to do it if I want. Let me get this out of the way. Um, these three were another back or another pack. They're lace and they are stretchy. Um, they're not. They won't hold as tight as say these ones. Okay, it's just a stretchy lace. So this was a three pack I purchased. And if, like I said, I've had these for months. Oh, that goes with that one. And then oh, another Erin Condren. And then I have these littler ones, which you can use these. And um, felt. Okay. And I'll be using felt on all of these options, no matter what happens. So I, I plan on um, kind of laying out, I don't know how she does, I haven't watched a video on how she does it. I've just seen her show them. Or did I start a video on how she does it? I don't remember. I, I haven't, it's been a long time, very long time. So if you want to know how to how she does it in, in particular. You can go look her up on YouTube. Um, so I am going to, I know that she has wax paper involved. I think it's wax paper. It could be parchment. I'm not sure. I think it's parchment to be completely honest, but I have wax paper out here in the shop, but I also have my jelly print paper. I can use that too. Um, so I think I'm just going to kind of lay out the pieces, the metals, the fabrics, the bits and bobs that you want to use in it. So I'm going to lay those kind of out, and then I'll cut a piece of, um, of felt that I can glue things to, and then maybe the band will be glued behind it, and then on the opposite side of, so this is where everything would be glued to, and then on this side I'll cut an exact matching piece for the inside to glue, to sandwich the actual band, not that you guys can see this. So this side would be the pieces that I'm going to glue down. Then I would glue the band to it. Or you can sew, but I don't know how to sew, so we're going to go with gluing. And then I would glue a piece over this band. So I don't know. We're going to wing it. I haven't done this before, so that's what happened. So I, I do have a band in mind. I'm going to start, I think, with this one. I'm going to do more of the pinks and creams. So we're going to use this band right here. And I'm probably going to end up using a brown felt. I just I just went to the store and grabbed basic colors of felt. Um, I have my drawer of laces and ribbons and stuff over here as well. And then I've got my bins of um, metals and embellishments. And some half black pearls just to tuck in around things more pearls um, I've got some more of these flat metals and you might want to use a um, maybe an e6000 drop or two because you know so I've got some e6000 I will glue it with the hot glue but when it comes to the metals, I'm also going to put a drop of E6000. That's what's going to really hold it. I don't want pieces of my planter band flying off. So I have my hot glue gun over here. It's off to the side. And then I just have my drawer of embellishments and whatnot. This is uh, an entire box of keys. Those will be cute, but this is the main drawer I'm going to work out of. This is the one that's got all of the 
the goodies in it. It's just a random mixture. There's also pokey needles in here, so I have to be careful of look at that clip. A random mixture of things. So I'm gonna just be putting those on as well. And flowers, so we'll see how it goes. I want to kind of make it big and chunky and um, I'm actually just going to go ahead and pull a couple of some of the things that I would use from these bins out. That way I don't have to have all of these on my desk. And I can put them away because they can just go in this big tote one down here. So. And I'm not, I don't know if my chat's working or not, in the event that it's not. Welcome to everyone who's here. Maybe a leaf or two. Or three or four. Okay, let's just grab those out. Especially when it comes to the metals, because they can just go in this when I'm done. I don't have to put them back. Okay, let me look for maybe a key that I would want to use. I got this from um, an old man had passed, and they were selling everything in his garage. And this was in there. I think I paid two bucks for it. I don't even remember. But it's got a ton of little old keys. It's just darling. I don't know how I'm supposed to get these off, though. That didn't actually occur to me. Here's a little one. I want to grab more of a rustier looking ones. Oh, here we go. I don't know what's happening. There's like this string. Ha! Here we go. There's those. Pull that off. I'm gonna look at these little guys. These are adorable. Okay. So that can go back in its spot see what's in here that I might want to add to the said collection. I don't want to put any bulbs on this, so actually I don't need this one. Oh, she's like additionally broken. <laughs> okay. okay, there's that. It looks like it's wonky. There we go. All right. I need a drink of my coffee. I haven't had any coffee this morning. We woke up extremely late for Mark's doctor's appointment today. He had his CT today of his abdomen. It was at 9 o'clock. I woke up at 9.15. I didn't even set an alarm last night. I left the dishwasher open. Like, I had plans, and I fell asleep in bed. I couldn't tell you what happened in my house from like 11 o'clock on. I was toast, completely out. Nobody woke me up. I told Mark, I said, next time you have to wake me up. He goes, but sometimes you get mad. I'm like, that's true, but you need to risk it. <laughs> okay. So I need this little bowl and I'm gonna, Ooh, these are cute. Well, maybe some of these will need to use. Well, 
These are a whole bunch of these little jars with like glitter and stuff in them. Oh. Ooh. That used to be an earring. That might be cute. There's all kinds of good little things in this little jar. Sorry I don't have all this done before, but I literally just came out to my shop and turned it on for you guys. That's what's happening. So if you're watching this recording, you could probably fast forward a, a great deal, I imagine, until I get all this stuff figured out and fixed. That might be cute. Put a couple of these roses in there. The Cabochon. Alright. Some of these cream half back curls. A couple hearts. A couple pinks. And ooh, one or two of those. Call that one done. Hey, Allie. Welcome. Let's grab a couple of these ones. Those are big. Um, I'm going to try and stay more pinks. I might put some blues in. So in that event, I'll just throw a couple of those in. All these heart ones. Put a couple of these ones in there. Okay. Let's see here. I do know that I'll probably put in a, a pen or two, pen nib or two, and this one says journal on it, so that's definitely probably one that I would put in. These are super cute, but I don't want to make it too heavy in particular. I could take that off, that could go in. So I'm just looking for metals that I'm going to potentially glue down. There's a gear. art on it. I'm going to make a charm out of that, so I'm not going to use that. So. I'm going to make more of my dangly charms. I have like five or six made. I just need to get back on it. I'm going to call that good from this bin too. I have one more bin to go get. And then we'll be able to begin-ish. And I'm going to have to lay it out and then glue it on. Mind you, have never done this before, so those that are watching, do bear with. Okay, this one's almost emptied. I've been picking away at it and picking away at it, so I figured ooh, we might need a domino tile.
life is about creating yourself and living the moment. You could choose one of those. Definitely want to grab this butterfly. Maybe that butterfly. Got some wings. We could layer that with something. Enjoy the journey. That's cute. Penny Farlington. Is that what they're called? Penny Farlington. And I'll bring up the picture to show you guys, those that have come in late, what I'm doing here in just a second. Let me grab the little bits and pieces that I may need and we'll be able to move on. Could use maybe a couple doilies. So pretty. All right. Let me grab the picture. So for those that have come in now, um, this is what we're making. These are planner or journal bands, and I'm uh, in absolute love with them. So I don't know that it'll get this good, but it is from Magpie Soul, and I believe she's the same on YouTube. I found her on YouTube first um, months ago, and I bought the supplies, well, the bands, months ago to do this. Why do we look like we're turned that way? There. Um, I bought it months ago, and I haven't done it. And then I was going through pinning things the other day, and I was like, we are doing that because I'm feeling inspired, and that's what I want to do. So. Oh, that's pretty. So I'm going to go through this one and pick out a couple. We could probably incorporate some of this, too. Pick out a couple things that I may want to use in it. And from my gathering, I, I do know that I've watched some videos. I can't remember if I've watched videos on her doing this. But they can end up heavy. Depending on what people are putting in them. Scissors. Oh, that's cute. I like my numbers to be odd and things have to mean something to me. Okay. 
I don't know why I like that. It's weird. I don't even know if I'll put it in there, so I don't want to waste too much time on it. And if I do, I'm going to be sanding that red off. So I've got these little bits and pieces. I have these flowers. I'm going to be using some paper flowers as well. And this band is going to be, I can use it for, oh, here it is. So I'm going to use this band right here. Okay. And you can, you can also just make them to go around the inside front cover. You don't have to, but you would, you know, this is quite loose. So if you just want it to be a decorative thing, you can do that. I would probably maybe sew, sew it a little bit more and you could hang a charm off the top even. I don't know. Quilting, ooh, bravo. So it's it's kind of up to you, just like specifically with this, this is my journal. I write in this every night. This is my journal, it's a Chic Sparrow Maverick um, in the wide. It's the regular height of an actual Midori journal. It's just additional, there's just some additional width to it, okay? So I, you can just, I can just remove this center elastic right here and pull this out and then just use this as my closing elastic, which would be the planner band, which I think is what I'm going to end up doing. It holds it nice and closed and there you go. So, um, and it's for this one. I, I use this as my primary journal. So I'm only using it a couple times a day, depending. Sometimes I don't even touch it for two or three days and then I hit it a ton of times, you know, it just depends on what's going on. But I, I think that the planner band is going to be more successful in use and it's going to be so pretty on this leather right here than opposed to my Erin Condren because I am in that every day, multiple times a day. So, well, good for you, Allie. That's awesome. I wish I could, I wish I could just sew. We know my adventures in sewing. <laughs> Been there, done that. Hi, Lane. Sorry, I missed you coming in. So just be thankful that this is not a chip door video or putting together more <laughs> inserts. <laughs> I've been on that kick for a year, which I'm still on that kick. It's the main supply of my store. So those will always be, if I'm broadcasting, those will always be something that I could potentially be doing. But I've been so excited to do this. I have a list of other things that I want to do as well. So... All right, so I just pulled that out, okay, and I will be using a planner band if it looks cute. Otherwise, I'm putting it back in. <laughs> That's just how it is. So I've got my E6000 for my metals. My, I think she used wax paper. It could be parchment paper, but I'm sure it's wax. Um, I've got my hot glue over here. It's already heated up. I'm using the high temp glues got my felt which is going to be a brown because my planner is brown it's just going to blend in a lot easier so there's that and then I've got my planner band itself okay so I'm going to take a piece of chipboard this chipboard in particular to put this around because I don't want anything to accidentally glue to the back and then I'm going to take a piece of and it holds it nice and so I know and this is um this is a little bit shorter well no this is about the same height oh the same height this is the same height as my journal this is the template for the chip dory so I'm just gonna take that piece of chipboard 
And then I'm going to pull out just a little piece of wax paper. I'm just going to cut the height down a little bit. Just a little bit. And I will um, move videos. I had um, a message to move um, the video we did the other day. What did we do the other day? Oh, um, doing a, a creative journal spread. I will move that video to YouTube when we're done here. I can't move them from my phone. And if I'm not in my art studio, I have to come out here and, and start up the whole studio. I have to unplug the heater and replug it into a different outlet. It's just it's a big cluster. So it's a big so I'll do that after this class though. Alright. So I'm just gonna slide this underneath the band. Like so. And use some washi. Whoa, I don't know if that'll work. I don't know if washi tape will work. But we will go ahead and just run a bead of tape down that. That helps. Because the edges are kind of curling. There we go. All right. So I just have something that my band can stretch on. And this is the sewn seam. And I'm going to make sure that the sewn seam is centered in the middle. I want that sewn seam right there. You can kind of see it. Okay. Because what we're going to do, what I will eventually end up doing, is depending on, I'm going to lay out kind of my metals and get a gist. And kind of measure how big I need this to be. So I can glue stuff onto it. Okay. And so I will glue this piece onto the actual band. It won't be this high. And then when we're done, we'll glue one on this side of the band to sandwich it in between. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of lay things out just to kind of get an overall gist of what I want to do. I've never done this before, so bear with the video. And again, it's Magpie Soul. Um, on Pinterest is where there's pinned posts, but I watched a video and was inspired by her YouTube video for her planner bands. Magpie, so. E6000 does have a smell to it. It's, it is not, I mean, I, I don't have a problem with it. I'm going to open it up and then squirt some and then put the lid back on. Um, and I just use little amounts at a time and it's already coming out. So let me put the lid back on that. But I'm just going to be using this for the metals. Anything else, the paper flowers and stuff like that will be fine with the hot glue. Um, so I'm just going to be using it with the metals. Specifically because they're heavier things. So, okay. So I think I'm going to gather some lace and stuff to kind of get, oh, phone's ringing. Hold on one sec. Oh, it's the Hubsters. Hi, honey. What's going on? Oh. Oh, sure. Mm-hmm. They should be right on the counter. hydrocodone little brown bottle oh they might be in my purse hanging on the coat rack the flower one or the feather one look in there otherwise they should be right on the bar love you too Bye. sorry you guys I have to if, for those watching the recording don't hate on me because I have to answer the phone when he calls. 
Okay, so I've got some laces and some beads. I forgot to get all this stuff out. Give me another hot second. I'm so unprepared. <laughs> I want to stay more in the pinks, creams, whites kind of thing. I might throw a couple pops of blue in there, but I'm, I want to use like these are Petaloo. These are like mauve flowers. I want to use some of those. I want to use, these are fabric flowers, so I want to use um, probably both pinks and the topish, maybe the white, maybe even, I don't know. I'll have to see how it goes, right? And I've got some seam binding <laughs> that I can use. I can also spray my own if I decide that none of these colors are something that I would like. But I've got this lace that I want to use, and I'm just going to kind of bunch it and just kind of creating a outside like this that things can be glued to like that kind of stuff. So if it's blurry, just bear with it for a second. I've got a ton of pretty, pretty laces that I can use for this, so that's what I'm going to do. Some halfback pearls and some regular pearls. I think I'll use this. These halfback pearls are cream. Oh, I can use this white strand as well. It's really cool that I get to, aside from the headbands, I have all this stuff myself. So that's helpful. grabbing things in my color scheme and tossing them onto the deck. I haven't used this stuff in so long. I'm so excited. I have no idea. So what I'm going to actually do is stop this recording and entitle it um, Planner Band Prep and Chit Chat Part 1. And then, the, then and I'll restart the recording and then it'll be the actual go. Okay, so I'm going to take off the, because it's not focusing right now. For me, the glue smell with the E6000 is not super bad, so let me pull up my camera controls, figure, we'll figure this out. So if you're watching this, there's a part two where we actually build it. This was just unintended, but either way. So I'm going to stop this recording and title it. Stop recording.